Hi, I'm Alan Hills and welcome to the College of St. Rose's Movie Review Show, A Night at the Movies, brought to you by the Campus Production Club, St. Rose Television. Let's cut to the chase. Big news has just come from USA Network that Psych the Movie 2 will finally be premiering on USA Network later this year. It's great that this announcement was finally made, since the first Psych movie, which premiered in December of 2017, three years after the original TV series concluded, has left all of us psychos wanting more. So, I have a special guest with me right now to help me discuss what we hope to see in the sequel, as well as the greatness of the first movie and the greatness of the show in general. My special guest is a freshman here at St. Rose. He's a communications major with a concentration in film and new media, like most of us here at SRTV, including me. And he is a huge psycho and he is very media savvy. It's not even funny. He is Lincoln Murphy, returning to the show for a second time. Hey, Lincoln, thank you so much for coming on the show again. Hey, man. anytime. I, yeah, I had you on my Incredibles 2 podcast last semester, and I just had, had you for my for psych Radio movie. St. Rose podcast for the psych movies. Yeah, Cutting yeah. to the Chase. It's on YouTube. Check it out. But Link yeah. in the description down below. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> what description? Link in the description down below. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, I don't think it was even in there. I just had to put my plug in there. <laughs> but, yeah, aren't you excited about the announcement of Psych the Movie 2? Oh, my God, yes. And there's two, well, a bunch of things we need in two. The two that are most important is we need Lassie, mm -hmm. desperately. Yes. And we need Pierre Despero to show up, like, even for a split second. Even if it's, like, for a scene. Pierre Despero was supposed to be in the first one, but ultimately he wasn't because what? they said they couldn't fit it in. And he's the one who spilled the beans. I know. The first movie at some kind of conference. Yeah. He said the words, we're all reuniting in May to film some chaos. He spilled the beans before USA yep. officially confirmed it. It's pretty crazy, but we yeah. need him again. We do. We, we really do. We need, we need to see him and Sean interact again. <laughs> he's had more guest appearances on the original show than anybody. Yeah, I just saw his third. I, I, I think it was his third anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I'm so glad they're doing another movie because the movies are everything great about the TV mm -hmm. show condensed into one film. Oh, yeah. And we really need to see a, a continuation of that because Psych is just such a, a clever idea that it can never get mm -hmm. old. And I'm, and I'm still sorry that uh, Lassie wasn't in the first one. Oh, film, yeah. Although I, I understand why he wasn't because yeah. he had to get better from his minor stroke. But, yeah. But still, I cannot wait for it. And they're going back to Santa Barbara. You sent me that information yes, the other day. Um, and they're doing something par paranormal. As funny as that is, we all know that their case never really is paranormal. Yeah. It's a hoax. But don't you just want to see them oh god. scream? I, I, scream. I, oh god, I love it when they scream in terror. I, I can't even scream that I, no, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to. I used to be able to scream like that. <laughs> That's a good gus scream. <laughs> that's a good gus scream. That really is. Oh, God. That's I love it, man. Perfect. That's so oh, great. That's awesome. you know, I've, I've been able to scream like that in years. Oh, God. Oh, that's awesome. But, but yeah, see, this is why Psych is so great. You know, they, it, it's just all about fun. It never gets old. And the fact that they go back to Santa Barbara and you got something supernatural, it's really great. Yeah. But, but you know, the first movie uh, proved to us that they got something good going here. I mean, the first movie was everything great about the show, like I said. And that's into one little film. All the humor and the mm -hmm. 80s pop culture references mm -hmm. were off the rails. And, you know, if they were to do it again, it, they just wouldn't get old. And, and of course, having oh, Zachary yeah. Levi in it. Oh, the, that was... The, the thin white dude. Oh, I haven't God. seen the Chuck TV show. Neither have I, I. I appreciate the fact that Zachary Levi was brought along as a British yeah. villain. It was great. Yeah. And I mean, of, course, of course, he was a British villain. <laughs> I know. We saw in uh, the crappy Thor in the Dark World that he can successfully do British. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, but... And David Bowie was supposed to be the thin white duke, right? Yeah. But oh, yeah. Was, R. I. P. Yeah. Bowie, man. R. I. P. Bowie. I know. What a legend, right? But, but yeah. So, you re in the second movie, you really hope to see more Lassie, more Despero. Anything else that you care to see? Um, more of you and like I. You I want, yes. I want like a full like ten minutes just dedicated to Ewan's reaction to yeah. Jules and Sean getting married. Yeah, from what I read two years ago, that the second movie is supposed to be about them helping you, and which is probably how Lassie gets roped into it. Because maybe I'm guessing that he's probably going to try to arrest him throughout the whole thing. Oh yeah. Sean and Gus, you know, just prevent him. But then again, how does the paranormal aspect fit into that? I, they just well, fit so much into these. Well, movies they and did episodes. vampires where um, it was actually just some yeah. people stealing blood for someone who's sick, and then werewolves. <laughs> right. Who, yeah. Um, which was really that was. The closest thing to true paranormal That's that true. they got I, with the whole Wiccan thing. I shoot. Sure, while we're on that subject, I, I just got to mention I love in the blood episode where Sean actually squirts it out. Gus is so traumatized. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, 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 that or um, 
No, or God said it's Blackula. Like, who <laughs> yeah. over the age of 20, by the, at the time that it aired, knew who Blackula was? Like, uh, who? Probably nobody. I, exactly. I don't even know who that is. Black Dracula. That's pretty much all you well, need yeah, to know. It's pretty explanatory, but yeah. yeah, still, I didn't know. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Sean dressed up as Tom Cruise from an interview with the vampire, or just oh, a yeah. stereotypical on yeah. 80s vampire. I don't know. It, that was just a really fun episode. Yeah, where are you in the series right now? I am um, season seven, episode two. So right after Sean goes full postal <laughs> on a revenge scheme. Oh, yeah, those are some good episodes. Bad. I oh remember my those. Those are really good. God. Can't wait for you to get to Lassie Jerky. That's the yeah, Bigfoot spoof. That I can't I might wait. Be, I might have been telling you about that one a little too much, but I still I know you're going to like it. It's yeah. great. We as comm majors can appreciate it. Yeah. Because it's, it's shot with a camcorder. It's like The Office meets Blair Witch. Like oh, I said God. on the podcast. That's it's, awesome. And it eventually strays from Bigfoot to a scarier subject. And they just oh, get God. so creative of course with it. Does. But, but in Psych the Movie too, I just expect them to get really creative and fun. And we, we were talking about this in the podcast, in Cutting to the Chase on YouTube, check it out, that we want it to be a Christmas movie again. They handle yes. the Christmas theme so well, don't mm -hmm. they? Because the, the first movie really worked with that. And yeah. whenever I saw a Christmas episode in the original series, I was upset that it was over because they made it work so well. Yeah, I love how in the movie they didn't have like Christmas be a huge part of it. That it was kind of just the beginning. Yeah, I know. Where, where uh, Sean dressed up in Gus's Hagrid costume, pretending to be a drifter, looking <laughs> that was pretty for funny. Um, black market jewelry. <laughs> yeah, I know that was pretty funny. I remember I was following uh, Psych on social media at the time when I heard that the movie was announced. So I officially decided to follow the Facebook page. They take a picture of them. Uh, behind the set, Sean's got a like an elf hat on, of and he's holding he a Santa cookie, you know, with a signature lip look. Yep. I can't do it as well as he does, but I was like, I, I can't even do it as well. But the point is, it was a funny picture, you know. But yeah, I'm like this. James Rode is, oh is acting in his facial expressions. He's a dynamite actor. He, he is. He's, he started out as a serious actor in New York. He studied a drama and experimental mm -hmm. theater. And he was just going to be a bartender in New York and wait for acting gigs until they gave him the script for Psych. Okay. And when he auditioned, he was pretty much the only choice. Yeah. 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 But still, I can't wait for the second movie. Oh, and God, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be great. Right. That, that's no question. Amazing. It's good. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Lincoln, <laughs> thank you again for coming on for a second time. It's great to have you, my man. Nice to be here. Yeah. Once again, I'm Alan Hills, and this has been A Night at the Movies. Thank you for watching, and see you next week.